friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, in case you're new around here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys our homeschool schedule, and I'm also going to be bringing you along as we do our homeschool morning time. <music> Before I bring you along and show you guys how we do our morning time, I wanted to go over our schedule with you guys first. So this is like my morning warm up binder. So these are all the things that we use daily in our morning time. And I also have like the kids chore charts in here just so I can see them because they're downstairs and they're not easily accessible to me. And I have like logins and passwords in here. So then on the front, I have our homeschool schedule. This is kind of a typical day for us. I recently changed this and it has been working so well for us. So, you know, if you have a toddler with naps and everything, things can change week to week, month to month. And so since the baby has dropped his second nap, he's taken one nap, he's, his nap is closer to one o'clock now, things have changed a little bit for our schedule and just kind of what works best for us during this season of life. But basically what we do is on Mondays, that's usually our co-op day. So we don't do any formal lessons on that day. Uh, the kids still have to get their reading done. They still have to do piano. They have a little bit of a checklist on the days that they uh, do co-op, but it's just very light. And then if it's a Monday and we don't have co-op, we do do a school day, but it's just a very light day. So it's basically just language arts and math and we call it good for the day. So every day our morning time pretty much stays the same except for Friday. So we're basically just doing Bible Sometimes we get in fix-it grammar. We don't always do that. That's about all we do for our morning time. I'll go through the whole, all of the things we do for Bible in a little bit. And then we'll do language arts, all about reading, all about spelling. So Gabe is doing his language arts. He does it independently. So he's on one side of the table doing his language arts while I'm working with Landon, my second grader, on all about reading and all about spelling. And then we take a little bit of a break for snack time. I let the older two get a snack and then I bring my five-year-old in and work with her on her pre-K and we do that with her for like 10 to 20 minutes. It usually doesn't take us very long at all while the other ones are getting a snack. And then we meet back in the dining room and the two older ones work on their math. I usually have to do a good bit of it with my second grader, so I'm usually sitting there doing that with him. My older one, he usually can do most of his math by himself. He sometimes needs my help. So I'm just there kind of navigating that and helping them through that. And then that usually takes us anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. And then after that is when we do our um, history or our science. So we are doing Living Off the Land with Gather Round and we're also doing U.S. History 3 with Gather Round. And so we just do Living Off the Land on Tuesdays. We do U.S. History on Thursdays and then we do Science on Wednesday and we're doing The Good and the Beautiful Birds. Still, <laughs> we're still on that one. It's been taking us a while to get through that one because we've been doing it very slowly. Then we do lunch after that. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's what it looks like. It's a very full day of school but following this schedule we're able to get it done before lunch which is great and is working out so good and then Friday though is our lighter school day so Friday we do a little bit of a different morning time we usually do Bible I have like this manners book that I go over with them we have this book called window on the world which is like a Christian missions book it's also got a lot of geography in it we love that book so we'll do that usually on Fridays and we'll do like a read aloud sometimes we'll do our nature journaling or our safety book and then we usually do um, snack again while I do preschool with my five-year-old and then they pretty much have free time for the rest of the day sometimes if we didn't get to a, a science lesson or history lesson I'll throw that in there at this time but usually we just take it really light and easy on Fridays because my husband is usually off on Fridays so that's our day to kind of be with him so that is our homeschool schedule I just kind of wanted to walk you guys through that so you knew kind of the time frame of how we do everything hopefully soon I'll go through a whole day in the life of our homeschool but today is just going to be our morning time so 
It is 8.30 now. We try to start morning time at 9 a.m. And so right now the boys are, I can hear them in the dining room. They're doing their warm-ups. And our warm-up is basically, they have like a binder like this. And it basically has handwriting in there, some copy work. Landon usually has to practice writing his name. Just a few things like that that they go through. Gabe has a little bit of geography in with his. And they also have their devotions as part of their warm-up too. So that's what they're working on now. They usually do that from like 8.30 to 9 and then I come in there at 9 and we start on our morning time which is what I'm about to show you guys now. Cypress. Cy Cy cypress wood is a type of tree. Uh, wood. Cypress wood. Make rooms make rooms in it Cav Co coven er. cover it with act. Uh-oh, that's a T. Ta 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 tar. Which is sticky stuff. Mm -hmm. several weeks of travel which pleased them they decided to settle down Landon where where should the punctuation go what punctuation Put down. what what question what punctuation goes there question mark yeah I meant uh, Just a period word. period good okay we need a period there have you seen any commas that, that um, are needed between them and you guys Please them. One right here? No, I said between them and them. Yeah, and then where else? Um, After several weeks of travel, which pleased them, they decided to settle down. After travel. After travel. Good job. Okay, so tell me what the nouns are, lady. Can you tell me what one of the nouns are? After several weeks of travel, which pleased them, they decided to settle down. Or some place oh, earlier. Yeah. Maybe weeks? Yes, I was about other, to say what other nouns? Travel. Travel, good. And what about a pronoun? Do you see any pronouns here? Oh, I don't know. I want to know. They. And? Them. Them, good job. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for all the beautiful sunshine you've given us today, Lord. Help us to just be diligent in our work today, Lord, and help us to show your love through our words and our actions. In Jesus' name, amen. Ooh. America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Daily affirmations. Who Jesus says I am. I, let's say them together. I am loved by God. Landon, do it with us. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. I will walk in love. I live in rest. I have control over my actions. I am led by the Spirit. I am loved. I am wanted. I am complete. Wait. What? I am a victor, I'm not a victim. Not a victim. Mm -hmm. I am complete in Christ alone. I am a peacemaker. I am joyful. I am obedient. I honor others with my words. I honor others with my actions. I am a truth teller. I have purpose. I have salvation through Jesus. I am strong in the Lord. I am patient. I am generous. I am being changed into His image. I live by faith in Christ alone.
job. All right, let's do our storybook. Which one are we on? There was a prophet in Israel named Jonah. God spoke to him and said, Go to the city of Nineveh and tell them to stop their wickedness. But Jonah was afraid because the people of Nineveh were the enemies of the Israelites. They would rather kill him than listen to him. He didn't want God to save the people of that evil city. So he ran away to the seaport town of Joppa to get on a ship that would take him to Tarshish, far from Nineveh. He boarded the ship and set sail. But was there consequences to Jonah running away from what God was calling him to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. What was that consequence? Yes. He got eaten by the fish. Eaten by the fish. Some people think it's a whale. Yeah, it could have been a whale, I guess. Um. So, then what happened? Then what did Jonah do when he was in the whale? Pray. And he asked God to what? Okay. And forgive him for not obeying, right? Okay, so God, God was gracious to Jonah, right? And he let him live. And because of that, 120,000 people didn't die. Because Jonah obeyed God and did what he asked him to do, he saved 120,000 people's lives, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Let's do our scripture memory. But those who yes. trust... In the, Lord, in the Lord will renew their strength. But those who trust in the Lord those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40:31. 40, Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord but those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40:31. Isaiah 40:31. Who can say it? Those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40, 31. Let's do our catechism cards. What is this change of our hearts called? Remember? Re regeneration. Regeneration. What is this change of our hearts called? Regeneration. Yeah. Who can change a sinner's heart? Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Only the... Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit can. Who can change the hearts of sinners? Only the Holy Spirit. Good. What does the Holy Spirit do? Um, he, he gives faith, he gives right? Faith. What does the Holy Spirit do? He gives, he gives faith. faith. What does the Holy Spirit do? He gives, he gives faith. faith. How are we saved from sin and death? Um, only through, only through, through Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. How are we saved from sin and death? Only through Jesus Christ. Good. Who is Jesus Christ? Um. Uh, oh, uh, God's son. God's, God's son. God. Did Jesus ever sin? No. He, he is, is righteous. Righteous. What did Jesus do for his people? Um. He conquered sin and death. What does it mean to believe? Huh? It's trust in salvation. It's trust in salvation for Christ. To trust in Christ alone for salvation. Say that. Trust in Christ alone for salvation. I can't. What does it mean to believe? To trust in Christ alone to for salvation. What are you eating? What is that? The breakfast bar. Breakfast bar. Can you eat it at the table, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, guys, that is all there is to it for our quick little morning time. It only took us about 30 minutes. It is a very quick morning time. We have simplified it so much over the years. It used to be this long drawn out thing. And with toddlers, that is just not the season of life that I'm in right now. And so it wasn't working for us. So I have slowly stripped it down and down and down until basically it's just fix it grammar and Bible right now. And we are really enjoying it that way. And it's very doable for us. So that is how we do our morning time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for coming along with me today. Drop in the comments below one thing you love about your morning time. I would love to hear how it's going for you guys and thank you so much for watching be sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it's a free way that you can support me and it helps me so much and I'll see you guys back here really soon for another video bye guys